All right, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Grace Tutor, where we solve technical drawing problems and we also provide information that are important for you to do well, to perform well in your exams. And uh, the topic that I want to talk about now is inclined solids. Inclined solids, as you can see, it written here. Now, I want to make it simple for you. I want you to understand it. That is the reason why I'm making this video. Now, if you look at these views that you see here, this drawing that you see here, you will see that these are the orthographic views of a square prism. Orthographic views of a square prism. Here is the front elevation. Here is the plan. And here is the end elevation. Now, if you look at this very well, you will see that the object or the square prism whose orthographic views are produced in this form is standing straight on a plane. It's standing straight on a plane. What I mean is this. If you look at... Okay? So look at... This thing that I'm holding here, this is eraser. So if you look at it, if I as I'm holding it like this, this eraser is standing straight. So if you look at it, I can see that the shape here is a rectangle. Or let me turn it here, okay? So turning it here, this shape here, if I'm looking at it in this direction, I will see a rectangle. If I'm looking at it from the top down, and this is the front elevation now, if I'm looking at it in this, at it in this direction. Now, if I'm looking at it like this, though this is also a, a, a rectangle, so this will be the plan. And looking at it from this direction, this will also give me a rectangle, and that is the end elevation. So, for these views that we have here, it means that the object is standing straight on the plane. That is... Let's assume that it's on the horizontal plane. So it's standing straight on the horizontal plane. Now, if you are watching my video for the first time, you are welcome. This is Grace Tutor, as I said. And if you're a technical drawing student, I want to urge you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also, when you sub subscribe, when you put on the, 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 the subscribe button, please put on notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And please help me to share my videos with your friends who are also technical drawing students. And don't forget to practice. It is very, very important you practice this subject so that you can master it. And that has always been my advice here in this uh, channel. Now, let's go back to what we are talking about here. We have the orthographic views of a square prism. And... As I said, the topic is inclined solids. Now, when I bring it to what we want to talk about here now. So, here we have the plan being inclined at an angle to this horizontal line. This is the same plan that we have here. It's now brought here and it, with, it is cheated. It is cheated such that it's inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the horizontal. So what effect will this create in the front elevation and in the end elevation? That is what I want to show you here. That when the plan is turned or it, it, it is tilted and it's inclined at an angle to the horizontal, so what effect will that have on the front elevation and also on the end elevation. That's what I want to show here. We are still working like we are producing orthographic views of an object. Now, let's look at it. Now, what you need to do now is that from this point here, from this point here, draw a vertical line like this, as if you are working on orthographic view. And here also draw a vertical line at this point here so draw a horizontal line here sorry a vertical line sorry draw a vertical line there and here also draw a vertical line now 
this vertical line that we have produced let's produce the front elevation to see the difference between this front elevation and the front elevation that we have here that's what i want to show you now looking at what we have here um so this is the base here i want to make it thick okay so the height is 50 millimeters so i will take a measurement of 50 millimeters here so this is 50 millimeters okay so then i will make it this a thick line okay now looking at what we have here if i'm looking at this of this object that is this plan but i'm looking at it from here up like this i will see this corner i will see this corner i will see this corner but this corner will be hidden from me it will be hidden from me so that is what we want to put in the front elevation here now i'm going to make this line because i can see this corner i'm going to make this line i'm going to make it a thick line i make it a thick line like this then this is hidden from from me so i can't see this point i'm looking at it from here up so i can't see it is it is hidden from me so i'm going to make this with a short dashes with short dashes line so to show that it is hidden okay then i can see this point so i will make it thick so this is it and also i will also this this point so i will make this also i will make it thick okay now what i have done here is that this is the difference between the front elevation that we have here and the front elevation that we have here because the plan here this same plan that we have here is tilted and it is inclined at an angle 60 to the horizontal that's why the front elevation is in this form compared to what we have here when the plan is placed in this form now what about the end elevation what will be the nature of that so from this point here draw a horizontal line to this side and from this point draw a horizontal line to this side from this point draw a horizontal line to this side and from this point also draw a horizontal line here then i believe from what you can see here you should know that we are drawing this in first angle projection so from this point draw an incline line with your 45 degree cell square and then here we are going to project a vertical line here we draw a vertical line so from this point we draw a vertical line from this point here we draw a vertical line and from this point we draw a vertical line here now looking at what we have here the object is being viewed in this direction i'm standing here looking at this object in this direction so i will see this point i will see this point and i will see this point but this point will be hidden from me when i'm looking at it in this direction so that is going to give us what we are going to get in the end elevation when the object is being viewed in this direction so i'm going to make this this will be a thick line from here to here so this will be a thick line from here to here okay and From here to here will be a thick line. Then, so what we have, I can see this corner. So this will be, this will be made with a thick line. Okay. Then, this point, I can't see it. It will be hidden from me. So this is the line. So I will make it with short dashes line.
and then I can see okay I can see this corner so this will be drawn with a thick line and also I can see this corner so this line will be drawn with a thick line so with what we have here this is the front elevation this is the end elevation and this is the plan so if you look at it there is difference between this plan and this plan the difference is that this plan is cheated and it is inclined at an angle to the horizontal so that that will create the difference between the front elevation and the end elevation and the end elevation so this is the difference so this is how the orthographic views will look when the plan is seated as you see it here all you need is to practice and don't forget to share my videos with your friends who are also technical drawing students keep on practicing and god bless you